In this video, we're going to look at more complex conversions, okay, looking at conversions that have squared and cubed units. Um, it, it makes it a little more difficult, but it's totally doable once you get the trick, okay? What do you do when your conversions are squared or your conversions are cubed? If you have some kind of unit that is squared or cubed, um, especially when we talk about volumes, okay? Um, volumes are, are cubic, right? You're talking about length times width times height. Um, so any, any type of unit that has a square or a cube, it gets intense if you don't understand how to convert, and it gets even worse if you don't know what to do with cubes and squares, anything that has an exponent, okay? Um, but once you get the trick, it's easy. So here's what you do. All right, um, all you do really is you, you have the same three steps, okay? If you don't know how to do regular conversion, go figure out how to do that, all right? But all you do for a conversion with cubed or squared is you're still gonna start with your given so whatever the problem gives you, you start with that, right? Step one, start with your given. Step two, you set up your blank conversion. And the only little caveat here is you have to make sure your square or cubed units will cancel. And then step three is you just do the math and of course check your units. Okay, so it's not difficult. We'll do a really easy problem to start with. Ah, all right. So uh, if I need to paint a wall, an example that everyone loves doing, right? Okay, if you have to paint a wall that is 350 feet squared, how many inches squared is that? Okay, step one, start with your given. I'm given 350 feet squared. I need to get to inches squared, which means I need to convert out of feet. Okay, now if I'm looking at any of my like conversion lists or if you are given some kind of conversions on the back of your periodic table, you're not gonna have a foot squared conversion. Instead, what you'll have is you'll have a feet to inch conversion, okay? So one foot, 12 inches. I need to do this conversion twice, okay? Foot to inch. Because now my feet will cancel. This is feet squared. Foot times foot is foot squared. Okay, so feet squared will cancel. And I'll have inch times inch. So I will have my answer in units of inches squared. So it, again, it's really not complex when you have conversions with squared or cubed. All you do is you just have to do your conversion how many times the exponent is, okay? So I had squared, do it twice. So 350 times 12, times 12 is a large number, 50,400 inches squared, 50,400 inches squared. All right, this has an easy example, slightly more complex example-ish, okay, is if you're talking about a volume. Okay, so now you're talking about like a 3D structure. Okay, a volume of a gas chamber is a thousand centimeters cubed, right? So like length times width times height, 10 by 10 by 10, and now I have a thousand centimeters cubed. How many inches cubed is this? Start with your given, a thousand centimeters cubed. I need to get out of centimeter and into inch, and I need to do this three times centimeter to inch, centimeter to inch, okay? Because now, centimeter cubed 
I'm going to have centimeter times centimeter times centimeter. That's going to cancel out with the centimeter cubed. And I have inch times inch times inch. That's going to give me my answer in inches cubed. Perfect. Okay. Not hard at all. And if you look at your conversion rate, one inch, 2.54 centimeters, one inch, 2.54 centimeters. And so you just take a thousand, divide by 2.54, divide by 2.54, divide by 2.54, and you get a lovely answer of 61.0. Inches cubed. Okay, you just do that conversion three times. Okay, the other way you can write this, of course, right, you could say a thousand centimeters cubed and you could set up your conversion one over one inch over 2.54 centimeters and then you can cube your conversion. Okay, you can cube your conversion rate. If you are good with math and cubing fractions, that's fine. All this is, is this, right? This is just the expanded version of writing out this fraction cubed. I just find that honestly, when you write it out like this, students will somehow mess it up in the nicest possible way, right? So I find that if you just write it out, the amount of times you need to write it out, less errors occur. If you're comfortable with doing this, awesome. You can just put 1 divided by, put 2.54 cubed in your calculator, and then go 1,000 divided by that number. You'd still get the same answer. Okay, so it doesn't matter. Whichever way you feel comfortable with writing it, doesn't matter. Okay, have at it. All right, really tricky problems, okay? The trickiest of tricky problems is what happens when you need to convert both the numerator and the denominator. So that's when we get questions like this, okay? Um, <laughs> I apologize for the drawing underneath. Uh, my toddler was helping me. Okay, so the tricky problems. I'll need to convert numerator and denominator. So in this example, pressure at sea level is 14.7 PSI pound force per square inch. So I'm starting with 14.7 pound per inch squared. Okay, and what is this in kilograms per meter squared? So that means I need to convert pound to kilogram. I need to convert inch squared to meter squared. No pressure. Okay, so just pick if you want to convert numerator first or denominator first. I always like doing numerator first. Just get one thing out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to start with converting out of pounds and converting into kilograms. And my conversion for that is something I do not have memorized. It is, ah, one pound is 0.45 kilograms. And again, hopefully you won't have to memorize these things. They should be given to you on a table. Okay, I don't have them memorized. I'm looking them up right now. All right, so now pound and pound cancel and I'm in kilogram. Okay, so sweet. At least I have my numerator set. Now I need to convert out of inch squared. Okay, and again this gets kind of tricky. If I want inch squared converted away, right now inch is on the denominator. In order to cancel that sucker out I gotta put inch up top on the numerator. and I gotta do it twice because it's squared. All right, fun times. Now you may not be given an inch to meter uh, conversion on your periodic table. Typically you'd have to know that there's 12 inches to one foot, right? 12 inches for one foot and then you'd have to convert again, okay? So this would have a different color. Okay. Cancel our units in purple. All right. So I have inch times inch is inch squared. That will cancel out with my inch squared. But now I'm in foot times foot, so now I'm in foot squared. Feet squared. And I want meter squared, okay? So now I have to do one more conversion. Oh joy. 
get rid of the feet, get it into meters. Okay, foot times foot is foot squared. Cancel with foot times foot. And now I'll have meter squared on the bottom. I just need to fill in my blank conversion here. And feet to meter, one foot is 0 0.3 meters. Okay. And finally, <laughs> this would be done. Okay, so this step right here converts your, this is getting you into the correct numerator. This billion amount of steps here gets you into the correct denominator. Okay, canceled out pounds, getting into kilograms. Canceled out inch squared, canceled out feet squared. Gonna get my denominator in meter squared. You just type in these numbers in your calculator. 14.7 times 0.45 times 12 times 12 divided by 0.3, because it's on the denominator, divided by 0.3 equals. And you get the horrible slash wonderful number of 10,000, good lord, 10,253 kilograms per meters squared. Okay, so um, this would be like the worst type of complex conversions you would have because you have to convert both numerator and denominator. Um, but now you know what to do if you have any kind of conversion problems with squared or cubed units. Good luck.